is a material made from two or more chemical elements that have bonded. Before we begin, think of something that makes us hydrated at all times. Water is a perfect example of covalent compound. Covalent compound is made when two or more non-metal atoms bond by sharing valence electrons. This bond is called covalent bond. According to the octet rule, atoms will lose, gain, or share electrons to achieve a full valence shell, depending on their electronegativity. It is an ability to draw electron to itself. On the other hand, you will never find covalent bond in sodium chloride, commonly known as salt. Instead, you would definitely find ionic bond with platelets and an ionic compound. Ionic compound are generally formed from metal and non-metal elements which consist of charged ions. Eh, letak apa tu? Ada ini. Aku dah letak garam. Kalau letak garam masa masa baru sedap. Hmm, jadi nanti kita makan kita letak garam juga eh. Sedap makan ni. Hmm, macam sedap sangat. Ya ke? Tak masih sangat ke? Tak, saya sedap. Nak try ke? Tak apalah, tengok dia makan ni haus pula. Ni air kan? Hmm, sejuk sangat. Tapi kenapa tak ada rasa? Apa ada dalam air ni? Ionic bond results as a balance between the force of attraction between opposite positive and negative charges of an ion and the force of repulsion between similar negative charges in the electron clouds. Net balance of forces is called the lattice energy. Removal an electron from a neutral atom is called the ionization potential. Electron affinity is the energy given off by an atom when it gains electrons. This is oxygen atom. It has six valence electrons. So we need two more electrons to achieve stable octet electron arrangement. This is hydrogen atom. It has one valence electron. So we need one more electron to achieve stable duplet electron arrangement. So two hydrogen atoms needed to share the valence electron with one oxygen atom to form a covalent compound which is water H2O Now I'm going to say about the properties of covalent compound The first one is low melting point Second, poor conductor of heat and electricity Third, volatile, change, which is changed to vapor when heated, thus it is great as fuel. Fourth, soluble in organic solvents, and the last one, insoluble in water. This is sodium atom. It has one valence electron. So, it needs to donate one electron to achieve a stable octet electron arrangement. This is chlorine atom. It has seven valence electrons. So, it needs to receive one electron to achieve a stable octet electron arrangement. This is sodium chloride, which is salt. Melting and boiling point. 
Secondly, it can conduct electricity in molten or aqueous state. Thirdly, it is non-volatile, hence it does not evaporate easily to the surrounding. Fourthly, it is soluble in water but insoluble in organic solvent.